a budget just completely overwhelm you? I have four simple steps to simplify the process. Step number one, begin with your income. Your income is the first thing that needs to go into your spreadsheet. Now on this spreadsheet we're working with today, this is the estimated take home pay for two adults, assuming they both make the median income for the age of 35. Step two, put in your minimum payments. Now your minimum payments may also be known as one-time payments. These are payments that you are generally paying only once a month. That is going to include things like your insurance, your cell phone bill, your rent, your electricity, but it can also include payments to uh, debt servicing. So if there's a minimum payment on a credit card or minimum payment to a student loan, these are things that you now want to plug in to your budget spreadsheet. Step three. Step three is going to be your cash envelopes. Your cash envelopes, as I will link to a description, I believe it's supposed to be up here, I will link to a video about cash envelopes that I've done in the past. The cash envelopes are going to include things like gas or groceries, if you wanna set aside a separate alcohol budget or clothing. This is also a great place to have vehicle maintenance and also a place to start your sinking funds. Step four. Step four is going to be for your financial goals. This is where it gets really exciting. Now in this spreadsheet, I have a default set to 15% going towards your retirement. If you are still in debt, like a car loan, student loans, credit cards, don't put anything into retirement. You need to focus on getting out of debt. That is the number one focus when you are in debt. Get out of debt. If you look on this spreadsheet, you will see the one-time payments are a total of $1,190. And the cash envelopes are also plugged in here for a total of $740. So when you take that out of our income, the remaining balance to allocate is $4,770. So if you are in debt, you are going to take that $4,770 and plug it right there into your debt. You don't have much left in the balance to allocate because it is all taken up with your debt servicing. Now let's say that you are out of debt. Debt is a thing of your past. You now can put that money into retirement or you can play around. Let's say you want to purchase a new vehicle. So you're going to put some money aside, $500 a month for money aside. And then you're going to want to put the rest into your retirement plans. That is Huge, that is so exciting that you can put over $4,000 a month into your retirement. Oh my God. So those are the four steps to making a budget. Now making a budget is super easy. It's sticking to the budget that can be a little tricky. Don't be afraid to adjust your budget along the way. That is why you have the cash envelopes the cash envelopes are great. They uh, give you a little bit of flexibility so you can see how much money is left in your budget for groceries. You can see how much money is left in your budget for alcohol. So, and if you, let's say it's at the, you know that you have a full tank of gas, you're not gonna go through that full tank of gas in the last couple of days of the month, but something came up. You can take that gas money and put it towards something else. So your cash envelopes actually give you a lot of flexibility. Don't give up if this is a little challenging the first month. This is behavior modification at its best. Spending habits are challenging to break. Your first month is going to be the most challenging and most people get into the swing around the third month.
put in your income, your minimum payments, your cash envelopes, and then your goals. You will be propelled into your success. This is the key. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment below because I love to reply to your comments. Let me know what you think of the video and what kind of topics you would like to discuss. Go ahead and boop that like button if this helps simplify the budget process for you. It also helps other people enjoy this content. Until next time.